So I know it's been like forever and a day since I made like any videos. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do like a monstrous pickup video of like everything I bought in like the last I don't know, like six months or so. Mostly video games, lots of video games. And basically I haven't been doing this because I've been working pretty much all the time or been exhausted from working so much. So, yeah. I um, guess I'll start over here. Basically I went to GameStop once and they were like giving away posters for free. So I got, let's see, I think this is the Division Expansion poster. One for Destiny and I think this one's Lego Star Wars, the new Lego Star Wars game. So, that's that. And let's do the PC stuff. There we are. First, I got this uh, Rage Thrustmaster controller. Which kind of reminds me of the Saturn analog pad. Especially because it's got the same kind type of... Uh, there we go. It's got the same type of analog, like, ball thing instead of an actual stick. But yeah, I haven't actually tried it yet. I'm not sure if, I, if my old computer will even accept it, but I figured it was kind of interesting. It was like, what, five bucks, five bucks. Got a few computer games. Cities in Motion 2 with the original game as well. It was like five bucks, I think, at Walmart. Star Wars Clone Wars. I'm still trying to get the Star Wars games. This one was two bucks. Lynx Golf. I think it was also two dollars. Uh, Heavy Gear, which uh, I was like, yeah, why not? And this bootlegged, this bootlegged copy of, of all things Garfield on the PC. Yeah, well, that was yeah, kind of ridiculous, but why not? Okay, uh, PS2 games next. High Heat Baseball 2003, Legends of Wrestling. I've gotten really into wrestling, so I bought a lot of wrestling games, including SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, Jam Pack, SmackDown Just Bring It, and Shinobi. I've actually been looking for a copy of Shinobi for like ever, and I got one now. Surprisingly light on the Dreamcast, all I got was I got a manual for NFL Blitz 2000 when I was in Chicago, like two months ago. Dreamcast just is not as easy to find, plus now at this point I have like, well over half the, of the catalog, so. Uh, some PS2 things, PlayStation Underground, Ridge Racer, oh I have the NG Con, but it fell down and I couldn't, didn't, it's this weird twisty controller. I'll do something. I don't know. Maybe I'll make. I'll probably make an entire video of it. That's why I got Ridge Racer for the most part. Jet Moto, Test Drive Four, Tecmo Super Bowl. Which actually, the insert was actually in backwards on this. I posted it on an Instagram. It was weird. Midway Arcade's Greatest Tits, Pipe Dreams 3D. It kind of sucks, but it was like three dollars. WrestleMania the Arcade Game. Apocalypse starring Bruce Willis and made by, I want to say this was made by like Neversoft, yeah this one was made by Neversoft actually and Cubix uh, GameCube Die Hard Vendetta Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee Space Raiders, the sequel to Space Invaders and WWE Crush Hour now as you can see. Oh, there's some yeah, 360 games. Lollipop Chainsaw, and I actually got this copy of SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 for free. I bought a Lollipop Chainsaw because I still have the the thing, but it fell down. This little thing right here is completely ripped off, so I have to like tape it up. I figured I should probably own the game. Okay. Original Xbox games are like so cheap right now that I'm just like buying them like candy at this point. Volvo Drive for Life, it's a exclusive game that I've like never heard of. Tomb Raider Legend, not exclusive. Prince of Persia Warrior Within, also not exclusive. Headhunter Redemption, which is a sequel to a Dreamcast game. Still need to get the Dreamcast game, but it only came out in 
Europe on the Dreamcast. Came out in on the PS2 in America. Unreal 2, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. Still working on getting those Star Wars games, but now they just came out with another one. Spy Hunter, Nowhere to Run, which was supposed to be a movie tie-in, but to a movie that never came out. Stupid. Superman. Outlaw Golf. MLB Inside Pitch. Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter. This actually comes with the free CD. R Racing Evolution. Rogue Ops. It's like Splinter Cell with boobs. And Destroy All Humans. It was a, it was a Best Buy or a Blockbuster copy, but yeah. So yeah, Xbox games are so cheap now. So cheap. Okay, grabbed a few. N64, actually, well, here's one Genesis game that I bought recently, for Soccer 2095. I just bought it because, screw it. Some N64 games. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, which was $6? $6. No, wait, $7. Wipeout 64. And Mission Impossible, which was the very last ocean game ever made. Maybe that'll be like a new thing with last call games. We'll do like last games by companies. Okay, only a few more video games left in this selection. Angry Birds Star Wars. It's Angry Birds Star Wars, but on the Wii U. Surprisingly, this is like the most expensive version of this game. But I got it because this way I can have ta tablet controls. Because it's the Wii U. It should have tablet controls. That would be stupid if it didn't. Okay. Three 3DO games. Yeah, 3DO games. Battle Chess, which is Battle Chess. It was $3 at People. That was a People Play Games back in Chicago. Immersionary by, of all people, Electronic Arts. It's like a FMV game. FMV was big on the 3DO. And Way of the Warrior. Which is freaking Way of the Warrior. I had to buy it. It was 25 bucks, but I was like, that's cheaper than getting it on eBay. And it complete. Pretty sweet. Okay. One more video game, which is not really one you would expect, but... <sighs> Skylanders Superchargers Racing on the Wii. And also... It came, or I didn't came with, I bought these, uh, came with the, I bought the Donkey Kong Amiibo slash Skylander, and this one comes with the Bowser Amiibo slash Skylander. This was like six bucks on Amazon a few, of like a month or so ago, and I got the superchargers for I think 20 at Target. Okay, that's it for the video games. Now, last weekend... Went to Canada, did some canada -y stuff over in Niagara Falls, and of course if you go to like a thrift store or something, the only game I got in a thrift store actually was Apocalypse, which is right over there, but you get a lot of hockey stuff, because I'm big into hockey and hockey is like huge there, I think it's like actually a religion. First I got a Canadian flag, because tomorrow's Canada Day, and a Canada hockey buck, which was... Two dollars, Canadian. Okay, this is actually the only thing I didn't get. I got a Lake Erie Monsters Calder Cup Finals hockey stick at the Quicken Loans Arena because the Lake Erie Monsters are now Calder Cup champions. So Cleveland is officially title town. And I got some mini pucks for mini sticks for a dollar a piece, Canadian. So it's like eighty cents or seventy five. Just Canada, Toronto, Maple Leafs, Toronto, Maple Leafs, and Philadelphia Flyers. Yeah. Okay. Got some hats. Winnipeg Jets, New York Islanders, Ottawa Senators, and this is a Hockey Night in Canada one. And this is actually covering up something. This is a Wendell Clark Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. 
but underneath it is upside down. I'm pretty sure this is an actual USS Reliant toy from 1984 or 5, whenever, when Wrath of Khan came out, because it looks like it's 30 years old. It feels like it was a toy from back then, so yeah, that was what? $3.99 Canadian, which is like $3 American, and I got 30% off of it too, along with that jersey, which was $35 Canadian, but that was just so awesome. I have no idea what that what I'm gonna do with it, but jeez. It looks so cool. That's it for last call games. We'll see you next time. Hopefully sooner. Well that falls. It's 30 years old. It's good it's gonna survive a fall.